today I'm going to be creating three upright garden containers. Now, typically you don't really want to choose a black, especially if it's for full sun plants. The reason being is because it creates a lot of heat. However, this area here only gets probably approximately three hours of direct sunlight and it's not super intense. So it's sufficient light for these to flower, but it's also kind of protecting them as well. Now this one here I've had for a long time, but it's black and it's got this uh, lines going across it. But this one here has almost like a sea blue background in it. And it has this black lines with this beautiful pattern on it. And it's gonna mimic a lot of the plants that I'm going to be planting here. And then you've got the leaf on this, and this is a charcoal gray, and it really kind of sends off some kind of a blue color to it. And then it's got the brown leaves. So each one of these containers play off of each other, and uh, they're not gonna get super hot. They're terracotta for one thing, and so they're a little bit more insulated as well. Now I do have a black container that I bought this mom last fall, but it's also not an intense heat. So um, it's been doing fine. And it also plays off of these as well. And that's why I chose these colors to put in this arrangement. I also decided to put these containers right here because my side garden for my porch just kind of gives it an extension to wrap around. Now. The plants that I'm going to be planting all are going to kind of go very well with these containers because of the pattern that they have. So I'm just going to dive in with uh, telling you about the plants. Now I'm going to put the names up because because I am dyslexic and so sometimes things kind of get jumbled up or get put backwards. So uh, anyway, this one here uh, is just absolutely gorgeous and I will give you a really close-up shot of each and every one of these plants as soon as I'm done planting but this one is absolutely gorgeous and this one here is called a very white and I'm gonna place her right here and the reason being because it plays off of the white here and it almost has like a like a half daisy looking flower and it really mimics the lines of this uh, container so I thought this was just a really good place to put this one and then this one here is just kind of like a daisy but it's kind of like a spiral and this one here is an ostrosperum um, pink spider and then I have some diamond frost this diamond frost reminds me a lot of baby's breath and it's just looks really airy and beautiful and uh, I just love it. So I'm gonna put it right there. And then I have some Dichandra, and I just absolutely love the curliness of the, the foliage here. Now this one doesn't flower, but it makes for a really good, uh, kind of like a spill over plant for any container. So I'm gonna put this one right over here. This one here is a Superbina peachy pink. And it's got like these almost peach to pink flowers in it. And it's just beautiful. This plant here, we were getting like 114 degrees. And this one actually suffered a little bit, but it's doing really well. So um, I'm still gonna plant it and I'm gonna put her right there. And, the, and again, these are just like these little daisies and they just kind of mimic off this as well as the patterns here. The leaf form, obviously, this has a leaf form. And this one here is called a Kudos Ambrosia and I'm going to place this one right back here just to give it some height. And I just love this little Spindly, and it's also a uh, pollinator. It, it attracts butterflies, so it's just beautiful. And I just like the way it's kind of spidery, and it, and also because this is kind of spiky, 
So that's going to play off really well off that, and that's also going to play off really well from the uh, diamond frost here. Back here I have a uh, tricolor geranium, and the flowers are going to be red. And, uh, and if you notice how the leaf form is and, it, and how swirly that is, doesn't that just look really beautiful against this container? I really like it with the creamy colors and the kind of like a, almost like a, a purplish inside and then the greens. It's to, and this actually, again, has like a, almost like a sea green background to it. So that's going to go really nicely right there. And then, of course, I have some more Darshandra over here. And I'm going to place that one over in this side. And then this one here, I just love this one. This one here is a Bertilla, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, so I will put the, the sign there, but it has these red flowers, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna put that one right up front because the red is gonna also play off of this one as well. And I just love that green foliage. Kind of reminds me when I see this, it reminds me of asparagus for some reason. I don't know why, because it should really do more like dill. So anyway, so that's going to go right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and plant these really quick, and then give you a really close up. so that you can see each individual as I explain more about what they are. Look at how gorgeous that is. It has just a little bit of yellow. Now, I don't know if we can see the colors of this pot, but it actually has kind of like a sea green in the background. And then the patterns here are just absolutely stunning. And it just goes really well with all the plants that are planted on top of it. And of course, this one down here is just lines and it's just mimics off the lines off of this one and the leaf forms. The white container has these leafy uh, patterns that actually kind of play off off of the charcoal gray container. But yeah, it's just gorgeous. So here we have the Peachy Key, the Sandra, and the Kudos. but aren't they absolutely gorgeous? Yeah, this just, I don't know why asparagus comes to mind when I see that. Look at that pattern on this. This is absolutely beautiful. It, and it plays off really nicely against this. Look at how beautiful that little spiral pink uh, spider. But it's just beautiful absolutely stunning and then of course this uh, kind of like a 
magenta purplish color are going to play off really nicely off the reds that this ends up uh, coming up with as well as the reds and the geranium and then of course the reds and the colors are going to go very nicely with purples and pinks that are on this osteosperum but isn't this gorgeous this i just absolutely love it and it turned it just looks really stunning better than i had actually pictured it when i was picking each individual uh plant but i'm really excited to see this really start blooming this year and of course it just adds to the extension of all this that's going on my mums here that i've had before the black plays off of this really well as well and uh I'm just really happy and excited. If you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification button so you catch me in all my videos. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on my next video. For now, bye-bye.